I go to Seattle University. I'm a freshman, so I figured that I would do a room tour of my room in Campion. Um, I have a double room with my lovely roommate who uh, is insecure and doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> so, um, introduce myself. My name is Riley. I'm a freshman at Seattle U. Um, just a little historical fun fact. Um, our school just got shut down because coronavirus is killing the world, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna show like the Campion building, like what's inside, um, what our room looks like, and like what our floor looks like and stuff. So you prospective students have some, have some information to use. <laughs> Um, because I remember when I was applying, like, there was literally no videos of, like, any of the rooms, and I was super annoyed because I wanted to see what my room would look like, so. This is Campion 101, insert title card. Our sink is directly adjacent to the door. Um, you have two cupboards under there. They do open, but nobody really uses those for any type of storage space because it's gross. And I'm not even gonna show you what it looks like in there. Um, sinks suck, but it's a sink and it works. So, <laughs> um, mirror for all your mirror purposes with a lovely and dishwashing array. A wardrobe! We have two wardrobes. There we go. That's the word. Um, on both sides. Um, there's obviously like disadvantages to having them on both sides. Like this one, the sink's kind of blocking it. Do you agree that that sucks? Yeah, you can open it. You can open it, but like it's kind of annoying because it's like there. Mine also kind of gets stopped by the door on this side, which it is what it is, but like, yeah. Um, this is what they look like inside, in case you're curious. These are all my towels and whatnots. And the drawers are like pretty big. They have like, see how it doesn't open all the way, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like this one does, as you can see. But they have a pretty good amount of space. Um, this is what the room actually looks like. Two beds, super exciting. Um, they're like twin, not twin XL. Twin XL, they're twin XL. They're twin XL, sorry, you know, fact check me. Um, <laughs> I've owned a twin bed my whole life, so, you know, I'm used to it. As a queen bed person, how do you feel speaking to Mike? Um, <laughs> I'd like to say it's okay. It's uh, okay! You're not gonna fall out of your bed, and if you you're have, not. like, a king bed, sorry. Like, sorry. Yeah, uh, if you have a king bed, why are you even coming oh, here? Oh, yeah, <laughs> why are you coming to college? You also have storage under the beds. I kind of forgot to say that. Oh, also you can loft your bed. We didn't loft our beds because then you have to like climb up into the space to get onto them. Um, they're like pretty high up. I would say like from here, it'd be like up here maybe. All this wall space that we can put stuff on. Um, not much to the walls. I don't know what, <laughs> what their cement walls are really hard to put tacks in sometimes, just so you know. So yeah. definitely come with wall safe tape because that's good to have and command strips. I didn't buy command hooks until like four Christmas. months into my <laughs> quarter. So please buy command hooks and strips, they're so important. Uh, a lot of people like rearrange their rooms so like they'll put their desk like over there and then move their bed forward. You can like do whatever you want. You can like move your furniture. We just kind of left it as is cause like we don't care. <laughs> so, and also who wants their desk to be like in the corner when you have this great view? Like desk is like a pretty, uh, I don't want to say terrible desk, the chairs are pretty terrible, like I'm not gonna lie to you, they suck. But you can't really put your own chair in, cause then you gotta keep the chair. Where are you gonna put that? So, <laughs> that's your problem, you know? Um, we have a pull out thing for your computer needs. Um, we have drawers that have a pretty, pretty, I would say pretty good amount of space in there. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Um, and then there's like, two small ones and then a big one on the bottom. Belle doesn't have these. Like, Belle has the ones that are, like, vertical. <laughs> I forgot what that one was. They're, They're tiny, they suck, so uh, come to Campion and get a full shelf's worth of storage. Then you have a microwave and a fridge, what they give, which they give you, Jesus. Um, two trash cans, they don't give you bags, though. So you have to like buy your own, but don't be like me and buy the small ones. <laughs> don't fit. 
because then you have to tape them to the sides every time you put in a trash bag and that's not it cheese um, this is the eighth floor view on the, i guess the right side i consider this the right side of the hallway but kind of yeah, depends it's the east this is side. a great if this is the east side uh, Okay, this is what the hallway looks like in Campion. Um, pretty long. This is like the shorter side, I would say. Um, obviously, because there's the lesser rooms this way. Um, as you can see, it's only that long, whereas this side goes all the way down there. Then we have our study rooms. Study rooms are pretty big. Three couches, um, table, and then we have like kitchen space and stuff. Um, again, the view on the eighth floor is pretty great. I think the lower you get on the building, in my opinion, the view is worse. But also, if you're on the opposite side, you just have views of like apartment buildings and it's not great. So if you can get this side, definitely get this side, it's a lot better. This is what the lobby of camp looks like. It's pretty big. Um, the door, front door is over there. This is the back door to the building. Um, we have like a big study space right here. With a big TV, a lot of people watch movies in there. Um, that's the RE desk. And then we have a piano too, for all the piano players. Okay, then we have the stairs. Um, these basically go down to both the cave and the laundry room. This is what the basement floor looks like. Um, elevators are right there. And then just kind of have like long hallways. The cave is at the end of that hall. I'm not going to show it just because it's closed. The laundry room is pretty big. Um, we have like washers and dryers for pretty much everybody. I know everything probably seemed like super confusing and like doesn't make spatial sense, but um, if you come visit or like just move in process, the space will definitely become like more familiar and like make more sense. Um, I know that it probably looks like just a lot different on video, um, but I think Campion is just a really great place to live. Not that Bell and Xavier and other apartment buildings um are bad i just love campion because it has the cave and i think it's just like a mixture of like quiet and social um so you kind of have like a blend of both just depending on like the people you meet the floor you live on who you are as a person stuff like that i like i'm so happy that i chose living campion for my first year because it's so just like conveniently placed with transportation um and it's not that far from the dining hall at all it's like literally like a five minute walk from the dining hall um i know bell is like literally right there like it takes like 10 seconds to walk to the dining hall but again campion has its perks and it has really beautiful views that you definitely can't get in the other buildings so i definitely recommend living in campion